I am coming to you early for this video with this video because Thursday when I normally do my lives is um sorry I'm pulling out my tape tear and tape is Christmas Eve so this is gonna be recorded I will it will post on Thursday so Merry Christmas Eve so we're gonna use the enjoy the moment stamp set we're using a little note okay so we're creating this little covered post-it note okay quick easy simple car pack simple oh i don't know i just dropped something but it's okay so bear with me for a second i want to make sure this is recording so you have it okay so grab my trimmer so the trimmer or the paper so when you do this, you can get three of these out of one sheet of cardstock. So what I do first is I cut my paper, turn my paper, and I cut it at seven and three eighths. One, two, three. Okay? And you just cut it down on the eight and a half side. Then on the 11 inch side, you're going to cut it at three and a quarter. And you'll get three of them. Okay? Then we're going to go up here and we're going to score this one. At three and one eighth, three and a half, and three and seven eighths. Okay, move the trimmer out of our way. So then we're going to use our bone folder and make these. This, I love making. You see the little project. Um, so I need a pair of paper snips. So what I do with my, I come down about a, that. I don't know the exact measurement, and I just make two little slits. Okay. So that is going to be our thing that holds our pen. Okay. So we're gonna put it right there. And then this little piece I can bring up here, okay? Then I'm gonna take my take it, uh, my piercing tool. You can use the take a pick tool, it's just fine. I just packed mine up in my, I created a little, I'm doing one little word this year with Allie Edwards. And so I, oh, I put the tape on the wrong side. Okay, let's start again. I did not think that one through. Bear with me for a second while I get another piece of cardstock. At least this way you can see me cut it. Okay, so we're gonna take the eight inch side, eight and a half inch side of paper, and we're gonna seven and three quarter eighths. Okay, just like that. Now then you'll have that scrap. Okay. Then we're gonna turn it this way, and we're gonna do three and a quarter. Okay, just to have more cut if I need it. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go three and an eight, three and a half, and three and seven eighths. Okay, then I'm gonna burnish these score lines real quick. I create my projects early for my Facebook Lives, and then I forget sometimes. I make a lot of these. I can't believe I just messed that one up. But it goes on the straight. Okay. No, I did it right. You do put this adhesive there. And you're going to poke that through. Okay. So you're. No, it's wrong. Sorry. I'm trying to think. I don't want to mess another one up. Okay. So, we're going to... It's You're still going to only put the adhesive on the bottom. on. Like, you don't want to put adhesive in this spot. Okay? So, I'm just going to snip that little piece off. 
Okay, now well, this should be right. <laughs> so the adhesive goes toward the longer side. Okay. Yeah, that's right. And then your little pen is going to go right like that, okay? So then what I do on my post-it note is I take the back backing off. And then I use the tear and tape on it because it just makes it sturdier so it doesn't fall out. And I make these for craft fairs. I make them for, I sell them all the time. They're great little things to just throw in your purse and be able to create, write a little note down. So that goes in there like that. Now we're gonna decorate the front. So we need real red ink. And we're gonna stamp a little note right in the middle. And you can, oh. I still messed it up. Hmm, I'm not having a very good morning, am I? Okay, so let's stamp a little note. There, I didn't push it down too far. <laughs> okay, and then we need the two inch circle punch. Just like that. I was looking for my adhesive, sorry. And I use the Starburst punch, it's retired on mine, but you can use the layering circles dies, it and that's what I put on the PDF, and it works just as good. I'm just a punch girl, so I tend to do, they're easy, you can just sit there and punch out a whole bunch of them at once. Okay, so there's that. So that's today's project and I will up by the time you see this video it'll go up on Thursday just like normal and when you see it I will have put the PDF in the file section and that'll be ready for you to see okay so if you um, have any questions or you um, need to help placing an order or anything please message me I'm not going to be in my office working, but I'm still available to place an order, help with an order if I if you need if you need it. Just contact me. Thank you.